So good morning everyone. Um, today I am meeting Alex and Sam from Orca Golf uh, and this has come about mainly because of Robin Matthew Williams' videos and if you've not seen them, uh, his two videos on Orca Golf, I strongly suggest um, going to watch them because it's a bit of an eye opener. So today I'm going to meet Alex and Sam. Uh, I should be getting a fit in from Alex at some point. And I'm also going to get a bit of training and pick up the demo kit because I'll be bringing Orca Golf to the people of Plymouth in my new studio, Stroke Shop. Um, so, better get myself ready. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm meeting them at Dainton Park Golf Club at 10 o'clock. So, yeah, off I go. See you in a bit. <laughs> Uh, everyone's just consistency. Things, um, from the video, you worked out there's only three things you can improve from the video I did with Robin. Do you know what they are? Uh, it's distance. Distance and carry, number one, yeah. Uh, what's the most, what's the biggest next one? Dispersion. Dispersion. Yeah. And the third is? Uh, launch angle. Four, five, yeah, yeah, that's it. They're the only three things you can improve, okay? Now, for you, coming here, what do you want? Uh, lower ball flight. Lower and, ball flight. Um, a bit more carry. A bit these. more carry. So, Dispersion. I know, I can uh, play with. Yeah, dispersion is technique as well, but it's also clubs. If they're too upright, he'll dig in. So, so closes again. It's too flat, you know. So, having the right line will will, will, will help there for sure. Swing path and technique, etc. Definitely. If I bring your spin down, I know I'm going to get you more distance. It's just fact. You know what the ideal spin is for six thousand with the seven. So, thousand less for every iron, number on the bottom of the iron. Whatever stat you read, track man, anywhere else, it's a load of rubbish. We should not be basing our industry on the one cent elite players yeah. it's absolutely ludicrous okay the tall players should have their stats which which is where trackman's right and correct 100 percent seven iron seven thousand spin for the tall player absolutely agree for you and every other club golfer weekend golfer avid golfer absolutely not it's a thousand less that's how we get the best out of the club the ball and you okay so give me six to eight with this we'll look at the data talk you through it and then we'll start from there okay Speed, spin, and then you carry and distance, okay? The issue for me here, the one figure I really want to pay attention to is... Spin. Well done. That is ludicrous. Yep. Okay, 8,600 spin, and you're only getting 131 carry. Ball speed's not too bad, but if I improve that, we're going to certainly improve this. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm going to swing weight your 7 iron a minute just to see what it's at. Okay. Just to see where where we are weight wise. Okay. So it's a half inch longer. Do you know what a standard swing weight is for an iron? No. They vary depending on the brand. But most are around about D1, D2 maybe. Okay. okay. You'll see 9.5. That's two and a half swing weights light. So that's why it feels a bit light for me. Yeah, but swing weight doesn't really affect too much in terms of ball flight or anything like that. All swing weight is a feeling, okay? Whether someone likes to feel they can create lag or they like to feel like they can speed up through the ball, that's what swing weight is. It's the overall balance of the club. Now, if, if your clubs have been, have been built to a decent level, I'd expect them all to be... I've changed the grips on them. 
So that size. might depend on how much tape. Uh, but the grade gone from standard to mid size. Okay, but that 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 will throw the swing weight out. But having said that, the grips there's only maybe a gram or so difference in there, so it should be within 0.3 still. Okay, so if um, we look at your six iron. C9.2, so that's within 0.3 of, of your 7 iron, which isn't too bad. Yeah. Um, but it's still two and a half swing weights lighter than it where it should be. A C9.5, so actually it's not too bad. They're, they're within each other, yeah. within 0.3 of each other, credit where it's due, I'll give them that. But the actual overall weight isn't great. What, what from ours do you like the look of? Um, I like the look of. So off 17, the, ultimately you're going to tell me you like the RS10. Yeah, I said to Sam, I don't want to go back to cavity back unless it's like it's proven to me that it's the okay. only way to go. Because now, at cavity, I went got to twelve and I wanted to improve by getting better yeah. flavour lions. This one here, okay. So you got there's three, there's, there's four types of cavity, but if we look at the main three, this has a low centre gravity, so that's going to do what to the ball? Uh, higher. Higher, yeah. So is that going to be any good? I can combat low centre gravity with a high kick point shaft to some extent. Okay, this one here is removed, so the centre gravity is kind of at this this lip here. Yeah. Okay, and this is in between. So we have even weighting, but I've cut a bit out, so it moves the centre gravity slightly higher. So you're probably going to be in between here. Both forged, different types of forged. Okay, but we'll start you off with something. Now, how it works is I will not tell you what shaft I give you because I don't want your brain to think I can't hit this. Yeah. yeah. Or why is he giving me a ladies flex shaft? I'm going to lose it left. I just want you to hit balls. What I'm looking for is feedback. Good, bad, light, heavy, like it, don't like it. If you hate it, tell me. It doesn't bother me. You're not going to insult me. Yep. What it allows me to do is build you a proper set of clubs. <laughs> <laughs> much spin but what's interesting is you're spinning it more and hitting it pretty much the same distance Very spinny, yes, mate. Right, yeah, you can. So again, as much feedback, Lee, feels good, like it. Don't right the way, straight away. Feels a better ball flight. Six nine. Seems swing, we, swing to be down a lot. Just commit to the shot, Lee. Yeah, don't swing it any harder. I just want you to feel like you're going to accelerate through impact. The grip feels really weird for me because I've been on mid size for a while. Yeah. Much better shot that thing. Just one to ten. Spin into it, didn't you mean? Yeah, I think I come down on it so like yeah. that rather than maybe shallow, but that's technique, isn't it? And what's happening to uh, you? Normally, mate, it wasn't just under 10, it was um, one six on it, seven seven. Good. Right, so that last one was one nine that you thinned, which obviously we'll get rid of. So Lee started off at 8.6, yeah? Just He started off at 8.6, he's down, down to 6.3. I 
I mean, if we can get him around 7,000 today, that would be good. Technique will get him a lot more. Do you have lessons, Lee? Uh, yeah. Okay. The main issue is full speed down. It's five mile an hour. It's dropped to like 15 miles. Well, has he got any better lessons? Lee, so just come here. When I say to you commit to the shot, there's a reason for this. If you look at your numbers here, right, these are your averages. Okay, this is your average. Yeah. You flip with your tailor made, you're flitting around the 102, 108 at best. So around early hundreds, right? 86 spin and your 131 carry. Okay. Now, that last one at 96 miles an hour, which is slower than you take your tailor made, is one one thirty nine, but look and your ideal spin now is at around about just under six. Right. I'm just going to change your find another one, Sam. So the head with the higher centre of gravity is working. Okay, it's taking spin off. It feels heavier as well. That one before just felt really light. Really light. Like uncontrollable light. Okay. But I've got much control anyway. But. <laughs> So, I mean, this is, what's not great is he's gone from eight and a half to that in spin. That is not ideal. We want to see that up. Mm. If he's around, I mean, six is ideal, obviously, but you're going from eight and a half thousand spin down to. You can't be that in 2000 spin. Uh, wet balls probably might have a little, a little bit. Yeah. Have another go. I just feel with this one, I can go after it. Okay. Well, you, you're averaging, you've, you've, your carry's gone from 131 average to 142 with a soft aloft at 7 high by 6 degrees. Two, two, was it? That's probably my bad shot. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably my bad shot, but it's not that off the far off line. Now you're swinging it 100 knots back, like back where you should be, where you were. You, you've gained 10 yards straight off. 6 degrees soft. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Distance he's There'll be no spin, it'll be coming out of his kneecaps. But... Like that with my old club, I don't know how accurate that one fish is, but that would have dropped about 100. How high that went up. No one's actually swinging it better. Is that not the one? I think, it's part, I think it's part of the, yeah, I've got two more behind here. I think it's part of the obviously wet ball, range ball. That's nice, nice. Like that. That's a good build. Spin got back up there. So a little bit of technique, you know, that one a bit steeper, the others maybe shallower. That would be really high. Pinch it off your leg. Only 3,000 spin that's saying, mate. That's my favourite one so far. So that top one is the last one, isn't it? And that's an average of 140 carry yeah. with but less the, swing the, speed. The spin's right down, so I think that's probably because of the wet balls. Yeah. That spin's too low. Yeah. But it's what, six degrees lighter, softer? <laughs> Apparently, I, I jumped when I look at the flag. <laughs> yeah, I was saying 133 carries. Can they hold your head still? Shot. 145 carry, mate. Spin down. Shot. Boom. That's a much better shot. Spin going off, he's got. Oh, that's the one. Take it. Three, seven, three, seven. That's right. There you go, 142. Well, come to golf. It's not spin, three, mate. It's not, no. Ignore it. See, that's going the same height. Yeah. Whereas I said I want a low ball flight, but it's just going so much further. But it, look, there's no, there's two arguments I say. There's no bunkers in the sky. No, but 
Yeah, so much more confident with this one. Just a bit of spin before two, I'm going yeah. to carry. Swing speed will down a little bit already. Mm. Only the best players use the five now. Striking us. 150 carry, here we go. There you go, welcome to golf. Lee. Bend my neck. Bend my neck. So, <laughs> so, so your, old, your old average was 131 carry, your best was 141, right? Yeah. Um, eight, six spin, just spinning it way too much. We know the conditions right now are playing, it, playing a part. I do think your spin will be down, probably around about 7,000. Yeah. So just check it on your um, sky track, yeah. yeah. Um, but you're now averaging, your ball speed's pretty much the same, your spin's at around about 4,000 if you took that two out, jump up to eight, leave me. And your 140, 140 carry, so you're nine yards longer with a uh, with an iron six six degrees softer. And I think, I don't know if that shows the spurs, but I've not been away from that, so I've been 10 yards to the left apart from the shank. Your dispersion's loads better. Have you got any, yeah. hit, hit one of your proper balls, Lee, yeah. if you don't mind losing it. One thirty-eight carry, spin six two. Ooh. Anyone? 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 <laughs> Just me then. All right. Thank you. Did you catch that, that a little bit heavy as well. Yeah, that was heavy. That was. That wasn't my best strike. Ah, oh, give over. If I'd have done that with it. He is striking. <laughs> but no, I, I yeah. don't. Yeah, so that last one, Lee. Look, six two spin. Hundred and three ball speed. Your ball speed's not changed. Six two spin. 134 so the top one was a normal ball, mm -hmm. so that's a true so backspin reflection. Yeah, the, the spin below it isn't quite right because of the wet balls and stuff. So, okay, so you know, from our standard, okay, you're favouring the toe here, right? Magic. If we get a uh, Average oh, four happy. yards combined. Look, yeah, yeah. You got one that's twenty-five yards left off line, but you take all them out. The biggest is just over ten. Your original club, you were averaging fourteen yards off line. So you've halved your dispersion. Yeah, that's massive, isn't it? Your best is, which we've left the twenty-five in there. Your best. The interesting point for me is, um, the ball speed's less. Yes, the spin's down, but I'm carrying it a lot. I further. would be looking purely at that one, really, for me, real ball. Yeah, that's massive. So you're, you're eight, you know, seven yards longer, ideal spin is 6,000, seven yards longer, real ball, real real conditions, seven yards longer, with an iron that's six degrees softer. And you called it a tiny bit heavier. Yeah, yeah. So, pen thickness, if if um, if we go the middle of the face, get the club right, if that's standard, right there in the middle, yeah. every pin thickness is one, two, three, no one's more than three. So if that's standard and you're favouring the toe, you're going to be one, I'd say two degrees upright from our standard. Yeah. Okay. So that's two, not three and a half. Not three and a half. Two degrees upright from our standard and a proper swing weight. So I've had my fit in. I've just uh, come out because I'm still getting a bit of product training as well because um, we'll be fitting Orca down in our shop as well. Um, the big thing that surprised me is, um, I don't know if I videoed it, I can't remember, but we put my driver onto the loft lie machine, you know, take the, the loft of it. Bear in mind it's a 9.5 degree driver, standard setting, and it came out at 13.5 degrees, which I think is just shocking really. A four degree difference in a driver. Um, it's inexcusable, is basically what it is. Um, we che checked the loft lies of my seven iron, so um, you know I got fitted for them. Uh, Taylor made say it's a 30 degree and, and they were right well say so they say it's a 30.5 and it was 30 just between 30 30.5 so you know it's completely within a tolerance but when um, you know I get two degrees upright which I've been fitted for two degrees upright but my club's coming at three and a half degrees upright it explains why I'm healy a lot um, because they're just too upright for me it's just oh phone's ringing yeah, probably is phone rang. Um, yeah, where was I? Yeah, uh, it's just it's not on. You're paying this money for a service. You expect a service one and a half degrees upright more than it should be. It's just inexcusable, really. Um, it's just it shouldn't happen. Um, 
but the plus side is um, you know I'm getting a little bit more distance with the seven irons that I've been fitted into and they're six degrees softer loft so they're 36 degree seven irons and I'm getting um, you know the same a little bit more distance than I was it just shows the what a good fitting is and that's something that I want to I'm getting training on now and that's what I want to bring to to Plymouth is that level of service I'm under no illusions that when I when they've arrived I will be going up to see Alex to finish off the bag with the driver etc um, I'm under no illusions I'll probably strengthen those lofts a little bit um, because I want to just get a little bit more distance from certain clubs but when we do a bag fitting that's what it'll do but yeah eye-opening completely eye-opening and if you've not watched Robin's video who I watched Robin Matthew Williams' video who got me onto Orca and coming down, seeing firsthand the level of knowledge Alex has got um, and just how bad my old fitting was. You really need to go and watch it because it's an eye opener. But I'm going to head back in and um, get some more training, watch some more fittings, get some, you know, get some more knowledge from Alex. Um, when I get home, I'll do another video quickly. And we'll brush up today, but yeah, eye opening. CTI head, All right? Cast head, yes, of course, I can. Slightly stronger 34 degree loft on the 7 iron, as opposed to 36, 36 which is standard, yeah. So, this is our only fully cast head, more of like an improver type club, mm -hmm. um, perfect for ladies, juniors, and, and, a, and a beginner golfer. That's if we work from like lowest to highest, yeah, CTI. Reflex head, so this is cast head of a forged body, so cast head of a forged face. Oh, okay. We heat treat this over and over and over to remove all the voids, mm -hmm. which is what makes that really explosive. This goes like very. This is will compete with your hollow body clubs that have been filled with foam. You can you can hear it. Do you remember what, that bloke? What bands do that? <laughs> What's that? What bands have? Oh, I know. Cause oh. I've got them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hollow heads so, building. You know front. when that bloke earlier on was it, and he said, "Oh, we didn't like the sound." Yeah, yeah. That's because it is. If you, right. Oh, that. so it's actually hollow head. Hollow. It's a hollow head. Yeah. So um, you can see it's slightly, slightly okay. thicker. Yeah. Sort of. That's for someone that was coming to that the Alex would call it a power fitting. Really wants it. Wants really a lot further, um, and can work with anyone really. So then you move into the SC Tour, fully forged, made from 1025C steels. Anyone can hit this really. Alex mentioned it earlier on. This is sort of the mid in terms of centre of gravity with some of the weight, but even heel toe weight in here. So can sort of really suit anyone a better player, um, but also a, a mid handicapper that doesn't really want a cavity that wants a slightly better golf. Yeah. So in terms of bottom line, it still looks fairly slim and really performs. And then you move into our sexy range. The sexiest range, yeah. <laughs> so your RS10 CB and your RS10 MB. But in terms of how these work, um, all the weight on the MB, which is obviously the one that most people pick up and absolutely love, is down towards the bottom, mm -hmm. which will increase the ball flight. And here, similar head, but we've removed the weight here, and it's a more even toe, heel toe weight in, which will ultimately bring spin down mm -hmm. from a combination of shaft. These are made from S25C steel and quad net forged. There is nothing softer on the market. Um, no one else quad net forges any of their clubs. They triple forge it. So, in terms of hitting them, they're as soft as they get. Yeah, I know. All three of these, a 36 degree loft, standard loft. Not cranked in any way. Reflex 34 as well. The reflex and the CTR both 34. Okay. In terms of wedges, we've got the J29 and the RS10. The RS10 is made from the same material as the RS10s. Um, in terms of what we're looking for here, a bit more of a, a body player because it's got a sharper lead and edge. Whereas the J29 um, is. Is ena it enables you to open the face a little yeah, bit more. It's got a softer, softer sole, um, and a little bit more of a handy player that likes to open the face up. So, in terms of what we do, reflex um, plug it. We do 16, 20 degree. Yeah. Okay. This is why I've only got five iron down because I think I'm going to have four hybrids in my bag. I don't know if it works. 
I think. Um, and then in these we do 19, 22, Ooh, 24, 26. Okay. GS5. In the fairways we do 15 and 19 in the GS5. And here on the reflex fairways we do 3 and 5, so 15 and 18 degree. 15, 18, driver, 9, 11, 13. So uh, I'm back at work today. Um, and I've had like a night to reflect a little bit on the fitting yesterday with Orca. Um, it just, it baffles me and annoys me how these major brands can really just get away with poor workmanship or not really giving a, a shit. Um, you know, to spend a thousand pounds on a set of irons that I did and find out that, you know, the, the, lo the lie is one and a half degrees off. That's bad. Not only that, but the fitting I got is the completely wrong shaft. It's too high spinning. And at the time of my fitting, I didn't really know much about it. I have to take them on their word. It's just a waste of a grand, basically. Um, so I will be now playing Orca uh, throughout my whole bag because, and not because they're paying me, because they're not, not because I'm sponsored by them, because I'm not, because I believe in the brand and I cannot fault the fitting I got with Alex. Um, the results speak for themselves. You know, I've not gained massive amounts of distance, but I've got a six degree softer lofted seven iron, which is going to land better into greens. All right. That's the same as my current eight iron that goes further. So, you know, it just shows what a good fitting can do for you. Um, and I can't wait to bring Orca down here um, to be able to fit people down here and give people the Orca experience. Um, it's just made me think, and um, I'll never play a major band again. Once I've got these in my bag, um, I'm selling all my gloves because I'll never play them again. The, the 13 and a half degree driver, ridiculous. Um, I always wondered why I hit it into the stratosphere. Yes, all right, that's <clears throat> a lot to do with my technique, but when I think I've got a nine and a half degree and it's actually 13 and a half degree, that's just bad, bad, bad. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, I hope you've liked that video. Um, it's That was my fitting experience with Orca. Um, I will be going back up in a couple of weeks to get fitted for the Woods uh, hybrids. So I'll, I'll film that as well. And Alex is going to uh, show me how they build the club. So I'll, I'll also video that. But uh, I hope you've liked this video. Thanks again for watching. Please um, consider subscribing to the page uh, and like and give us a comment. Tell me what you think of of everything regarding what I've done um, and especially what Robin's done. I think he's highlighted a massive point over the YouTube golf community that just needs to be put out there. It's just bad. It's not saying that, you know, if I was fit correctly for my current iron, it would be as good as or not better than, yeah, it probably would. But the point is I wasn't fitted properly for it. Um, so, you know, you get what you, you get what you're given. And you have to trust the person who's giving it to you. Uh, and I won't do that again. Not with these certain major high street retailers or major brands. Unless I go to one of these specific fitting centers for these brands. Which I might like, I'd like to do actually to compare. But that's the end of the video. Thanks again for watching and I'll speak to you soon.